We're talking today to Koichi Suzuki, president of automotive uh, Operation. operations of Suzuki of America. Good, good afternoon, Mr. Suzuki. Good afternoon. Tell us, if you will, about Suzuki. Who owns it? Do you have joint ventures with anyone? Yes, uh, Suzuki was uh, incorporated in 1920. Suzuki started the production of looming machine. And after World War II, Suzuki started producing motorcycles, uh, which we have a renown in that area. And the Suzuki started producing uh, automobiles in 1955. And the Suzuki is very good at producing uh, compact vehicles. Actually, Suzuki takes the number one share in Japanese market, uh, mini car market, for about 30 years. But the vehicle was too small for uh, U.S. customers, so we made a, a vehicle a little bit bigger. And now, thanks to the gas price or thanks to the environmental issues, our U.S. consumers have started think, uh, thinking small things is good. In the past, always, large things are good. But now, customer thinks small is good. That is very good thing for Suzuki. How many products do you have in the U.S. market? And tell me what their names are and what segment they are in the United States. We have uh, seven vehicles in the U.S. market. Uh, in the compact car segment, we have uh, Aereo, Aereo SX, Forenza, Reno. And in the mid-size car segment, we have a uh, Verona. And in the uh, in, uh, uh, SUV segment, compact one is a Grand Vitara. And the uh, uh, mid-size segment, uh, we have a new XL7. And I understand that you uh, have a relationship with General Motors. That's right. Uh, GM used to own 20% of Suzuki, and we are under the strategic uh, alliance partnership with General Motors. Now, because of the cash situation, uh, GM sold 17% of a Suzuki stock, but still owned 3% of a Suzuki stock, and we are working together. And are you working together in future product as well? Yeah, for example, a uh, new XL7 uh, use, uh, you, is using a uh, feeder platform GM has, and uh, uh, production is made at the joint venture between Suzuki and General Motors. The plant name is Kami, located in Ingersoll, Ontario, Canada. And you, uh, you mentioned high uh, environmental issues. Are you working on anything in the hybrids or the E85s with General Motors as well? Yes, uh, Suzuki is partnered uh, with GM uh, in the environment area too. For example, we are working together on the fuel cell. It's a, a little bit of future technology, but uh, it will come to the market maybe in 20 years. So you think in, in 20 years the fuel cell will be at the market and you'll be perhaps looking at a relationship with General Motors for fuel cell and yes. hydrogen? Yeah, it's a very important technology, I think. What about hybrids? A hybrid is an interesting technology. Uh, for example, Suzuki introduced a hybrid vehicle into the Japanese market. It's a very compact one. Have a both an engine and an electric motor. That was called the twin? That's right. <laughs> but uh, for the U.S. market, uh, we are planning to introduce a hybrid model by 2010. I, I was surprised to learn that in Japan, or you, that you're actually vying for like the number two to three spot. That's right. Actually, Suzuki is ranked at number three to follow Toyota and Nissan. Suzuki is outselling Honda in Japanese market. Even the Japanese market will be making a shift to compact vehicles. And the Suzuki has a lot of good models in the compact segment. So our sales is increasing. And even this year, sometimes you're number two and Nissan's number That's three. That's right. Depending on the month, uh, we are ranked at number two. It's a very tough competition now. Nissan, Suzuki, and Honda. And, and you actually build cars with Opel or with Fiat? You build well, we them have a them? joint venture with uh, Opel in Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a, a joint venture with a Fiat on the diesel engine very compact in Indian market. Yeah, and you're number one in the Indian market. That's right. We are taking 50% of market share because the most sales are uh, vehicles with a 1.0 liter engine. We are seeking the strengths. Amazing. Well, Mr. Suzuki, we appreciate your time today. Oh, thank you. Lou. It's very nice to talk with you. Thank you. Thank you.